Alright guys, welcome back to Motorsport Manager. Now, I'm starting a new series for anyone that followed my last one. Yeah, it wasn't going that well, was it? Let's face it, I was pretty shit at the game. We were like 10 races in and it took me about till the 5th race just to kind of learn the rules and how to actually play the game. And the mod itself wasn't that good, it was pretty unrealistic. We had Lance Stroll 5th in the championship after half halfway through the championship and he was like in front of, was it, in front of Raikkonen and Bottas I think. And that's just not going to do so. I decided to restart. I've had a look through the Steam Workshop and there is quite a few better mods than the one I chose so I decided to start again so I'm sorry to everyone that spent time watching my last videos but hopefully you can put the same time into watching this series and I promise you it's going to be a better and brand new series. Now the last time I was uploading qualifying and races separately this time around, I'm just going to be uploading them in the one video because, no, let's be honest, when you see qualifying, sometimes I don't get to upload the next uh, part to like maybe three or four days, and it's like three or four days between qualifying and the race, you know, it's pretty anticlimactic. So, I'm going to be doing combining the practice, qualifying, and race into the one videos now. I'm leaving the race distance at long. I know it might make the videos long, I'm not denying that, but I think. I'm all about realism, so to me it wouldn't be a great series if I was running around doing like 18 laps on a track when I could be doing 60. So yeah, the videos might be slightly longer than they were before, but obviously they're going to be longer. And they might be longer than the average other YouTuber that plays Motorsport Manager, but I hope you guys enjoy realism, I hope you don't mind, and I hope you stick around and watch this series. So uh, yeah, let's get stuck in and let's go and pick our team. So. Like I say, we're going to be picking long, so on average each race is going to be between 50 and 60 laps. We're going to be having the currency in Euro. We will have the auto save on. I don't think it really makes any difference whether the model, uh, auto save is on or not, does it? Um, not that I'm aware of. I don't think so. <laughs> right, let's load these assets and get into the game. I'm really looking forward to this. I, I really enjoy it. I was a big fan of Football Manager. I've played it for years. And then one day I was on YouTube and I seen someone play Motorsport Manager and I thought, is that similar to Football Manager? So I went on Steam, I checked it out, and I'm not quite sure if it's by the same maker. I haven't checked that far, but I thought, you know what, it was on discount. I think I got it for like 12 99 I thought, yeah, sure, go ahead, I'll get this game and I enjoy it, man, it's great fun. So, and I can't wait to play this series on my channel now. For any of you that know me, my favourite driver is Fernando Alonso. Always has been, always will be. And I would love nothing more for him to win his third world title. Doesn't look like that's going to happen at McLaren, but that's what I'm going to try and do in this series, guys. I'm going to be going McLaren, as I did last time. And I am going to try and get Alonso that third world title. Albeit, that's not just my goal. I mean, that's my first goal, but... It's not like I'm going to win the title with Alonso and just quit the series, never play it again, I mean, throw it in the bin. I'm not going to do that. Uh, uh, so let's see, backstory here. Ex-engineer, financial, political, unknown. Um, uh, no experience, no bonuses. Sure, we'll go with this one. It is This one has been real, isn't it? So, hairstyle. Oh, man, I need a fucking haircut, man. We'll go with, I think we'll go with that. I do have a bit of facial hair at the moment as well, I think. How about that? Oh, that looks good to me. Glasses. Oh, I could stick on glasses, but I don't really wear any, so... Nah, it looks like I choose a team. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be choosing a team. Like I say, we're going to be going McLaren, Honda. Now, guys, for you, this is just going to be an intro. It's just going to be basically setting up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, for each season, we're going to do like an intro video, intro slash, slash pre-season. And it's basically, you know, just be going to go over all the stats and shit like that, and then I'll be... Um, you know, season one, race one, season one, race two, and so on and so on and so on. So we're going to be picking tier one, which is the Formula One Championship. The so prize fund is seven hundred. Is that million or seven? Yeah, seven hundred million. TV audience four hundred twenty-five million. Sixteen, only sixteen races in this mod. That's the, that's the only thing that's a bit slightly annoying, but it is the best mod out there. I have been checking them all, and I have to say, I think this one is head and shoulders superior than the others but not that I'm running down any of the other guys but it's all about preferences at the end of the day isn't it? and I think this one offers the most uh, realistic experience as an F1 uh, fan you know what I mean I, so there we go we're going to be going McLaren Honda now you can see there it shows you the stats and we are not that great by any means are we in terms of car the best in the championship is up at this line and so we're not the best at anything 
We're way down here in car performance. We're slightly above average on drivers. I'm going to assume Van Dorn's bringing that down because we all know how good Alonso is, so <laughs> I don't know. Uh, headquarters, we've got great headquarters. I'm, I'm assuming Mercedes would be first at the headquarters, I don't know. Maybe Red Bull, they not? No, they've got a good designer, but maybe Ferrari. i say Mercedes or Ferrari have the best headquarters. Uh, staff, not that great, and sponsors are pretty much shit at the moment, so definitely going to have to try and change that. Budget is $8 million. Expect that finish is fifth and pressure is high. If you go Red Bull, you get nine million. You go Mercedes, just kind of quick look at them. Now nope, we're going to go McLaren. And we're going to somehow try and get this McLaren to the finish now. I know in real life, man, it, it's like a double whammy. The car itself's crap and it's just not fast enough. So, I mean, you can't win. So I don't quite, I don't mean win races, I mean you just generally can't win, I mean you can't do nothing with it. I mean, even if the car does finish a race, you're coming home in about 14th, 15th, it's, it's very depressing to see Alonso, uh, you know, doing this bad in real life, but that is going to be the end of the series. Hopefully we can, you know, change things around and I'm not expecting to win races here guys, I'm not expecting podiums. What I would like is points finishes and I don't know, I know, I know we're not going to be scoring points every race. High-speed circuits are going to kill us. We're not going to be suited to those tracks, but I'd like to think that maybe one of every second race we can score points. That is my target. That's like I think that's an achievable goal. And obviously, the further we go into the first season, the more the car should improve. Now, in the last season, I was doing a lot of people told me to switch engines. I'm not sure if you can do it at the start of season one, but I will be looking to do that at the start of season two. So unless we've improved the Honda engine. I will be looking to switch. Don't quite know who I'm. I don't know what you probably be Mercedes, but I think they only, I think they only give uh, teams. I think they only supply like four teams on the grid, including themselves. I don't know if the game factors that in. Probably not. But I think any well any engine would be an upgrade on the Honda, even a Renault engine. I would take a Renault engine. It is what it is. So um, here we go. Car tells you actually tells you the actual where they are on the grid. So. In terms of the car, we've got the 6th best car, McLaren coming in at 6th there. Is that right? I don't know. I'd say that I'd say Toro Rosso and Renault are probably above the McLaren car. Then again, the McLaren car, <laughs> Alonso says he has the fastest in the turns, it's just a straight, so maybe I'm wrong. Uh, drivers, we've got the 4th best drivers apparently. I think that's, maybe, I'd say so, maybe, yeah, possibly. Um, headquarters. Second best, it was Mercedes was first. Staff, we've got the seven best staff, and sponsors were fourth. So, sponsors, uh, I thought our sponsors were going to be terrible, but no, apparently everyone's terrible. I take it no one's actually got sponsors, I think that's what it is. I think the game starts off with no sponsors. So, first we'll get into the mail and we will see who is saying what. So, it's Yuko Tanaka. Welcome, I'm happy for you here. Alright. I got to say, I've got no idea who you are, or who the hell got you this job, but whatever. <laughs> I get on really well with Fernando, so I hope you're going to keep us feeling like one big happy family. I'm pretty sure I can win a few races this season. Ha! <laughs> win a few races? This guy's been on the weed, smoking cocaine or something, man, win a few races. Uh, I'm not really sure who you are, to be honest, but I guess I'll give you a bit of time. Well, I suppose that's fair, Alonso. Uh, I think I've got a chance to win the tech. Fuck me, what are these... <laughs> They've been bang hanging out a big smoke house or something, smoking pot, like, before I got here. Was I too late to the party? Because there's no way I'll just win the title. Um, we've got Tim Gross, with the uh, report says the report here. Stoffel Van Dorm is not one of the best drivers. His potential is huge, though. Given the chance to improve, he could be one of the best drivers around. Stoffel's great strength is his braking, but he has a hard time with his cornering. Predict the end of season position, 11th. Fernando Alonso is one of the top Formula One's top drivers. On top of that, he has still he still has some potential to become even better. Fernando's best quality is his focus. He isn't the best at driving smoothly. Okay, and reserve drivers Jensen Button is one of the better drivers in this one. Probably not worth staking a huge amount on his potential for improvement. He's operating near to the end of his limits. Jensen's great strength is his smoothness, smoothness, and his weakness is his overtaking. Well, we do. We yeah, that's probably true. Actually, Jensen has been known not to be able to overtake. We'll have a short amount of time until the start of the season. If you want to make any changes, you better be quick. Okay. 
I actually don't know how I feel about that. See the fact that a lot of buttons actually are test driver. I'm wondering should I actually promote button because Fandorm is going to be good, but I don't know if he's quite ready just yet. So I don't know. Should we? So should we switch them? Chairman Sack Brown. Start the season. So we need to clarify just how well you think the team's going to do this season. Um, so third is three point seven eight. Fifth is three point fifteen. And. 7th is 2.5 million per rate. Hmm. Try to think here. I think I'm going to go 5th. Do you want to know why? Uh, there's no chance we're getting 3rd. And I just think if we go 7th, it might be too easy to get 7th. I don't know. Or is that, is that retarded logic? No, I know when we might not be... I want to improve by the end. Yeah, I'm going to go 5th. I think towards the end when he starts going some good points, so... Fuck it, I might, I might be wrong. I normally am wrong, but I'm a bit of an, I'm a bit of an idiot. But you know what? Who knows? Uh, so we've got an introduction here from Chase Carey. Welcome to Formula One. There is one rather hefty rule active in the championship, which you may not be used to: the energy recovery system. The system allows you to that you your cars to harvest energy as the race, which is then stored in the battery. As manager, you can decide when to power mode. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Sounds good. Stage 3 qualifying. Yeah, we know all about this. So that's good, 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 good. We've read all the mail, haven't we? I think so. Yeah, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. Right, let's go check out the sponsor. So, got a slot. Oh, CNN, fake news. <laughs> We're sponsored by the fake news. Big Donald Trump's favourite news eh, channel. Fuck. Uh, Budweiser Hikinen. Hmm. I think Budweiser's tastes nicer. So, you know what? I'm gonna go with Budweiser because I think Bud. Yeah, forty million. Fucking hell. It's very. Uh, I'll take that. Like, um, water. That's that. Ivan, Twitch or Nivea. Twitch. I'm a bit. Of a, I'm a gamer. Like, so we'll go with Twitch, won't we? Why not? I would have preferred YouTube, like, since I don't really go on Twitch, but fuck it. And uh, Reef, or I've never, I do not know if Reef sounds like a bacon or something. Or it's probably like a, probably some sort of like water sports company manufacturer, I don't know. Or Eon, I think we'll go with this Eon thing. With a home race, you get 2.9 bonus in Germany, so yeah, we'll go ahead with that. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and look at the drivers, and then we're going to go ahead and see if we can make any upgrades to the cars. So let's go to the drivers here. Here we go. Got. Alonso and Stoffel van Dorm. Apparently they've got equal status. Hmm. Oh well. Um Alonso is four and a half stars, Stoffel van Dorm is three stars and a bit. But we have Jensen Button. As that's see that's, that's really bugging me. I'm actually temp I'm tempted to put button in, but he probably doesn't want no I mean he's probably not I don't know. So Alonso's got ten months left on his contract. Stuff of Van has got ten months, so his button. I think we'll go it's gonna go straight ahead and try and renew. Well I, I want to get Alonso down, so Position within the team, number one driver. I'm going to give him a number one driver because I want to keep Alonso for a while. So, um, cost per race. Prefer a longer contract. And uh, so 34 months. Let's see if he's going to go ahead and accept that. Oh, wait, I'll give him equal status and see what he says then. I suppose there's no point, there's no point giving them uh, number one status if we can get away with giving them, you know, equal status. So, that's what it is. But Jensen Button, like, we're paying a lot of money for a reserve driver. It would cost us quite a lot to break it, though. But he has a full star better than Stoffel Van Dorm. I'm really, really considering switching them about. Well, I think we'll I'll probably give Stoffel Van Dorm the first couple of races. 
and if he's not really delivering, then we could always maybe switch. Or if he gets injured or something, you know, we've brought Jensen Button in. So, all right, we'll deal with that later, though. So here is the team. Team principal, Jimmy Cool, blah, 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 lead designer. This guy here. <laughs> Race mechanics, Andrew Stella and Tom Stallard. Mm. Who could, could we improve anybody here? I'm trying to have a look. Should we try and find anybody? Well, how the hell do you actually? I've got all this. So chassis makeup. We've got tire wear, tire heat and fuel efficiency, and um, improvability. Okay, so visit headquarters. Do I do that? Yeah, sure. What? Well, so what can we work on? New buildings. Um, test track. We do need to improve the engine, don't we? So test track would help the engine massively. Wind tunnel. Forecasting center. I think we're going to go ahead and build that test track. Because we definitely need to get, we need to improve the engine and that will do it. So it's taking 8 million at the bank, but it's good. We'll go ahead and we'll build that. Now, can you actually, can you build something else? Well, oh you can, that's great. How long is that going to take to build, as I say? Um, 24 weeks, fuck. Staff center. Uh, we're going to build on this as well. Staff center. It helps the staff improve, so that's good. 5.7 million. I know this might seem like we're taking a chunk out of the um, overall bank balance, but I do feel that stuff could be important. I'll probably do this for now, but what about upgrading buildings? What can we upgrade here? Uh, Handling development, suspension, upgrade scouting facility. Um, do we really need to? Yeah, we'll upgrade the scouting facility, why not? It means you can get scout better drivers, so... We'll go ahead with that. And that is probably going to do it, because I've just took quite a chunk of money there. Out of the... <laughs> fucking... Out of the um, balance like that. We're down to 29.9 million. Holy shit. We're way up there, and now we've just... I've completely... Nearly bankrupt this. Right, so hold on. Let's hold headquarters for second best. Design. Got the best design on it. Great. Brilliant. Well, maybe we can start winning races. Factory. Best factory. Brilliant. Performance. Ah, seventh. Performance? What's it mean, performance? What's it, I don't know what it means by performance. Don't quite understand. Staff, but four best staff, and uh, staff and brand, second. Alright, so not bad. Uh, suspension, great, great, right, right, right. Okay, okay, what else can we. Right, let's have a quick look at the car now. Here's more important factors. So, overall, the car is the sixth best. Is it not fifth best? I think we've just been overtaken by four cents. I'm pretty sure, or, or did it always say sixth? Maybe it was always sixth best. Could be wrong. Top speed were by far the worst. Look at that, we're tenth on the grid, so that is absolutely shocking. We need to improve on that big time. Acceleration were also pish, we're tenth on the grid as well for that, so we need to improve acceleration and we need to improve top speed big time. Deceleration were fifth. Uh, low speed corners fourth, medium speed corners second, and high speed corners fourth. So, it's basically, if we could get good top speed and acceleration, which is due to the engine, really, that is what's um, holding us back at the moment. So, hopefully, man, we can change that. You can see um, the engine supplier at the moment is Honda. We can't change that right now, I believe we can't. But we can change it at the start of next season, which we probably will go and try and do. Let's see if we can design a new part here before the start of the next race. So we have 16 days and the engine. We can make an improvement on the engine and we can make an improvement on the gearbox, which is the acceleration. But we can't do both. We can't do both. But it looks like we'll go ahead with the I think we'll go ahead with the gearbox. And what we're going to pick here, acceleration, risk level 1. Um, don't, I don't really want to risk anything, we'll just go with this 20 plus acceleration. Go ahead and build that, it should be ready for the new race. It's going to cost us over a million, but once again, as always, it's uh, beneficial to us. Improve parts, what can we improve? Let's see here. What can we improve for the race? Let's try, just try both engines. 13 days for a race, 7 days, alright so we can get both engines slightly improved, 
reliability will improve the reliability as well. Ah, fuck, so it's one day after. Right, we'll leave the reliability of the engine. What about the brakes? We can improve performance of the brakes and reliability. No, wait, it's not brakes we're worried about. It's, uh, hold on. Front wing, that uh, front wing's doing a bit. Um, as is that rear wing. What the fuck, why is that? Why is the engine went down? Every time I put that. Ah. Right, so. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go ahead and. I'm gonna go ahead and just do these two engines because if I do reliability, it means the engines aren't getting completed after the race, so. We'll stick with that. Oh fuck, I didn't mean that. Pause it. <laughs> uh, right, so what else? Is that us really, I think? I think that's us done everything, so we'll probably just go ahead now and advance up to the start of the season. There you can see our objective, fifth or above. Job is currently safe, job security fair secure, and the uh, chairman is more or less, well, probably 75%, close to happy. Right, so uh, everything's looking fine, dabby dozy. We'll just have a quick look at the finances, uh, they're looking good, and the scouting. Right, because we want to do, we want to potentially find people for next season. So let's see, sixteen to twenty. The fuck, she's hot. <laughs> um, maybe sign her. <laughs> Don't know. Uh, who else could we get here? Carlos Sainz, Sofia, Ocon, Tom Lubskis. Uh, I would like. I wouldn't mind a British driver, to be honest. I really wouldn't. I, would, I really wouldn't mind. I'm looking at Antonio Giovinazzi, uh, Sage, Karim, Santino, Ferrucci, Alfonso Silas, Lucas Oer, that guy looks absolute shite, Anthony Martin, don't want him. And the rest of these guys think you have to scout before we can uh, get any of them. Right, so. I'm uh, going to go and try and scout in these guys. I don't know. I don't know. Um, probably not. Maybe Carlos Sainz Jr. I think he'd be good to scout. Well, I don't want to scout him. Actually, he's already got full ability. But do we need a driver right now? I don't, probably not. Probably not. Um, well, that Japanese chick, like, she's got fucking five star potential. She's unemployed as well, holy shit. Um, markability 94%. And with uh, Honda being Japanese, uh, maybe, I mean, uh, yeah, fuck it, I think we'll go and, I think we'll try and sign her. But I don't know what we'll do really, because Jensen Button's a test driver, but I mean, I think we may as well make an offer. Makes sense, markability and shit like that, and she's a great driver, so. Young Gun Mercenary Drift Champion, right. Go ahead and put a bid in. Uh, let's see here. Reserve driver. But does that mean button goes? Because I hope not. Rages. I prefer a short contract. Mm, give up to the end of 2016. Give up to the end of 2017. Right. I don't know what that means. If she accepts, I don't know if that means button's gone. If that's the case, I'll just leave it, because I don't want Button to be gone, but, like, who knows? Right, so we're going to go and head here, we'll see if Alonso's going to accept that new contract offer that we made to him. But we'll just first check our mail. Yeah, it says, new McLaren, having fielded a new principal. That is us, yes, we're great. Well, I'm great, hopefully. Luizzi, career's coming to an end, 34-year-old. Fans' reaction to cool appointment is mixed. Oh, I wouldn't blame the fans if they weren't too happy, of course, I'm a nobody. Hmm, interesting. Let's go back to the negotiation table. I don't know. Also, say no. Pete, what the fuck? What did he? Wait, why did he say no? Why did he say last chance? Right, the like the equal status. He's happy with that. Cost per race. He's in Celtic qualifying bonus. Right. So we'll try and get him again, hold on. Uh, 
he's not really bored about bonuses and shit like that, so hold on, we'll race bonus if we can get. For first, what will we give him for first? We'll give him 120k, we'll give him for, um, we'll give him for uh, pole as well, so. so let's be honest, we're nowhere near this, so hopefully this will sweeten the deal. 120k for getting qualif uh, for getting pole or getting the race win, so let's see what he thinks of that contract. I think he should accept that, man, I think that's a pretty good one. I'd be surprised if he did not accept it, but fuck, sure, you never know what's going to happen. Right, we've got mail, we've got mail, what is it? Who's saying what? Interview? Yeah, we'll take the interview, why not? Accept interview. But Clan Grand Prix is your new home, but it isn't the best team to... Ah, God, we may not be one of the big boys, but I can promise you we're going to work our absolute hardest. I'm slimming, I'm, sl I'm aiming for a plan to build this. We might not be one of the... Yeah, we're not one of the big boys, but we're going to do that. Staff of Van Dorm is seen by the fans as your top driver. Do you agree with that, or do you... Fucking Alonso's better, come on. I know this is going to upset Stoffel, but fucking hell, look at that. 20% it took off him. I've just, well, I've just been honest, I also left my number one. And season. I hope I'm not going to surprise you. Uh, you're an outsider when it comes to the world of motorsport. How did you end up with this job? Suck some dick. <laughs> uh, no, we uh, uh a lot of luck, but we're going to make the most of it, so. Okay, I think that's everything. Thanks, Jamie. Nay bother, son. Nay bother. It's Marcel Desley, <laughs> former Chelsea defender. Imagine getting an interview for him, that's crazy. Right. So, what's happening here? I've prepared a brief report on the calendar. We 41 lap race. Lap is blah blah blah. Lap record is 153. There is likely to be some range. Oh, rain! Sunday showing a 40% chance of it getting, so, uh, Obviously, with the chance of rain, it mixes up the whole race, so we can definitely do something well, even if we do not have the pace. We can definitely, um, you know, do something here. So, hmm, interest. What's she, what she not happy with? Wages are, aren't very important. Well, the way she says are not very important there, but she's insulted. Hmm. We'll just, nah, we'll leave it. I mean, we can go into the porn or something like that. We're not paying a 400 fucking K every race. No way. <laughs> uh, right, let's go and improve the car. So, did they improve the engine then, I take it? Could they better have I asked them to? Have they not done it yet? I don't know. Where does it say it? Did it come up and say it? they've done it? Fuck, I don't know. Wait, hold on. Sponsors, we've got no, we've got another. Slot offer here. Snickers. Snickers. Hungry? Eat some nuts. I think we'll go with Snickers. Fuck it. I like Snickers. I don't really like Snickers, but probably the brand that I know they're the most, so. Go ahead and we've got Snickers now stuck on the side of our car. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, gear designing gearbox finished. Well, we might have the gearbox. Let's see. Contract offer. Yes! The last version of the contract looks great. Let's sign on the dotted line. So we've signed Alonso and well, we haven't signed them yet. Apparently, sign. Yes, there we go. Sign. And that is absolutely brilliant. So they see we've got Alonso now for another thirty-four months. Delighted with that. Don't have to worry about him leaving. Well, he might leave, but if he leaves, he get a shitload of money. <laughs> and he's glad that the contract talks are out of the way. That's all good news and one big happy family here at McLaren. The gearbox is finished, so we can go ahead and fit it, and we will be fitting it to Fernando's car. Obviously. <laughs> um, there we go, where is it? So fun. Ah, the reliability on it's not the best. Do we risk it? I don't know. Do I want the gearbox? Nah. Okay, I'm actually going to risk that. Hold on, we'll design a new part right now. We'll design the engine for the next race, but I don't know if we'll have it by then. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. But we have to work on the reliability. 40% of the gearbox. I don't want that. I'm not going to risk that, no way. The gearbox will give up like two laps into the race, you know what I mean? 
Um, so here, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Gearbox, right, we're gonna go and work on that reliability. One day after race, anything else here? Engine, we'll work on the reliability of the engine. Right, there you go, that should be good. Add parts to performance, what do we want to improve? Three hours after the race, and we'll improve this gearbox as well. There you go, so. Right. It's now ready, man, for Sydney. Travel it to Sydney. Alright guys, and that is going to do it then for this uh, opening video, 30 minutes long, very long intro, did not mean it to be that long, so apologies, but like I say, this is going to be an epic season, I cannot wait, and hopefully we can get a great result in Australia, I'm going to try my best, especially with all that rain in the race, 40% chance man, so it's got to rain surely, has to rain, anyway guys, thanks for watching, appreciate all the views, all the likes, if you want to leave your comments down below, uh, what's your thoughts on the series, what's your season predictions and what do you think we're going to do in Australia. Let me know all the good stuff down below and until next time guys, it's been Summer Scotland 90, this is the Motorsport Manager Career Mode with McLaren Honda. Peace.